Treyarch and Activision have outdone themselves this time. So, hey guys, greetings demons, all that. I'm going to be talking about Call of Duty Zombies, and specifically Cold War Zombies. Now, this is something that I haven't really spoke too much on for a while, mostly because I'm not enjoying Cold War. I love the campaign, honestly, I think it was a really good campaign. And initially I was enjoying the zombies experience as well. The multiplayer is kind of terrible in my opinion, but I'm a zombies scrub, so that's probably why. But in any case, they recently gave a major update to the difficulty of Cold War Zombies. And I'm all for having, you know, greater difficulty options and stuff like that. I love that games give me the option to have all the way from, especially with Call of Duty, from recruit all the way to expert or veteran or any number of other much harder modes. And if that was all that this was, that Zombies was getting, you know, difficulty selection, I'd be fine with it. But what they've instead done is, within the base game, within the base of Zombies experience, they have upped the health and damage of everything in the Zombies experience. And, you know, I've been playing Zombies since Black Ops 2. Um, technically, I was playing in Black Ops 1 as well, I just didn't own the game personally. I understand that these games, at first, were very difficult to get high rounds in. And I completely respect that, and I've gone back, I adore World at War, I play a ton of Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2. I know how difficult those games can be at times. But this is different. Whilst, yeah, there's definitely a challenge when it comes to World at War and Black Ops 1. Less so in Black Ops 2 because they had a lot of quality of life changes in my opinion. But the first two games, World at War and Black Ops 1, that's what I'll focus on. They were difficult. They were you fighting for your life. If you got a wonder weapon, you were doing amazing. But otherwise, even with Pack-a-Punch weapons, you are very rarely in the clear. And that is one of my favourite things about playing World at War specifically, is the fact that it feels so desolate. You're constantly in fear that one zombie could take you out. And I really like that about zombies. It's a really fun experience. It's not unfair though. Regardless of what weapons you're carrying, you could be carrying the starter pistol in round 25 in World at War, and you still have a pretty decent chance of surviving the round. Whereas now with Cold War, they've upped it to such a degree where the maps don't really allow for this many mistakes to be made. World at War, as simple as the maps were, allowed you to make mistakes, regardless of the map. If you got hit, you had a good chance of escaping unless you were training, which has its own issues and that's not something I'm going to get into. It's something that is such a classic thing with Call of Duty Zombies. I'm a fan of it personally, but I do understand why that becomes an issue in this instance. But at the end of the day, you could get away from even the biggest of hordes, a full 24, which is what the cap was during World at War. And you just can't really do that with Cold War right now. If, especially if you have something like a Mimic after you, you're not going to be able to escape very easily. The damage, the speed, and overall the health makes it so that if you don't have the strongest of weapons in the game, you have a very low chance of actually getting even past round 30, which, at the launch of this game, was pretty easy. I've very easily got past 30 on my own. And that is unusual for me, I'm not that good at zombies generally. But this is ridiculous. Hopefully this is something that is updated, changed, you know, reverted in the near future, hopefully within the next update. But you can't be too sure. And to me this is just another nail in the coffin of both Treyarch and Activision and how they just don't seem to understand their players. We've not been asking specifically for more difficult zombies generally, but we've asked for maps that are a bit more challenging, something more akin to World at War Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2, 
because we want variety. Right now, Cold War already has an issue with how little content there is for Zombies fans. Especially with how much focus has been put onto the Warzone experience. So, it's remarkable to me that the first major update to the Zombies experience in a good while has done nothing but make the experience worse for those that were still playing it. I hopped on just to try it out and honestly, it's awful. And I say this as someone who did actually enjoy Cold War Zombies initially. I got bored of it just because there wasn't enough content, but it was a good experience overall and now it's borderline unplayable. And saying that, the gameplay that you're watching right now is actually from Plutonium because I really just don't want to play any more Cold War Zombies. But that is going to be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like it, subscribe if you're new around here, ring that bell so you never miss a video, and otherwise, check the links in the below to both my social media and my Trello where you can keep up with what I'm doing. And yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. Tell me what you think in the comments below, and uh, yeah. Bye! Luna Rainbow Flag, Happy Pride, Rabbit with Facts, Streamer Let's Play, they them out like dinosaurs, FNAFN, Troll, not the leader of a cult, Rabbit with Facts, it's Luna.